Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create 360 degree spherical renders in Maya 2017 and I'm also going to show you how you can take that into After Effects to create a camera move and then I'm also going to show you how you can use those renders to upload them to YouTube so that your viewers can actually watch them in a 360 environment with a VR headset like the Oculus or the Google Cardboard. So I'm going to close this down and um, then I'm going to click on File, New Scene and I don't want to save that and um, then I'm going to create a plane so I'm going to go to polygons and plane and I want to scale that up so press R on the keyboard scale that up nice and big something like that and um, then I'm going to right click on this go to face so then I want to select all the faces around so I'm going to click on the first one um, hold in shift and double click to select that row and then hold in shift and then click there double click on this one hold in shift click double click hold in shift click double click so we've got all those faces around selected and then I want to extrude them, so I'm going to go to Edit Mesh and Extrude. And I'm just going to pull them up so we have something like a room. Alright, so next I want to create some random um, geometry in the center. So I'm going to click on one of these faces and I'm going to press G on the keyboard just to repeat the last command. And then I'm just going to pull it up, something like that. Let's do one here, G, pull it up, one here maybe, G, extrude it, maybe one here, G, extrude. And maybe one here, G, extrude it. And maybe one more on this side, G, extrude. So this is just so that we have something to look at. And um, I'm going to go out of face mode. So I'm going to go back into object mode. And then I'm going to take my perspective view, just zoom in here or move the perspective camera around to around here. And then we want to create a camera from this view. So I'm going to go to view and create camera from view. Alright, so now I'm going to rename this camera, so it created this Perspective 1 camera and in the outliner just press enter and then I'm going to call it camera underscore 360. You can obviously call it whatever you like and um, then I'm going to click on panels, perspective, perspective to go back into my perspective view and I'm just going to move away so I can see my room and also the camera. And first what I want to do is I want to reset the rotation of this camera. So just click on the camera, go to camera 360, the tab here on the side and just set your rotation to 0, 0, 0. And then I'm going to move my camera into the center of the room. So I'm just going to press W, move it so it's kind of in the center. You don't have to be precise but that's looking good. And now we want to basically just look through this camera again. So I'm going to click on panels, perspective, and I'm going to select the camera 360 camera. All right, so basically now we want to change this camera into a spherical camera. So here on the side, we have your camera shape. Just click on that tab and then scroll all the way down to the Arnold tab and just expand that. And then we see camera type. It's currently on perspective. Just click on the drop down and change that to spherical. And that's basically how to set up your camera as a spherical camera, really simple. So let's create some lights and I'm going to click on the Arnold tab and then I'm going to create a sky dome light and I'm going to set the intensity to 0.5. Don't want it too bright. All right. So before we render this, let's go into our render settings and I just want to change the resolution. So if you go down and where you see your presets, I'm just going to click there, scroll down, I'm going to set it to 1080. Uh, let's go to the Arnold renderer settings and I'm just going to up the camera quality to around four or five. Let's set it to four. That should be fine. Uh, you can obviously increase it, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it nice and quick. Um, so let's do a quick render. Right, so our render is complete and as you can see we've got a 360 degree spherical render of our scene. So I'm going to save this as a still image. So I'm going to click on file and uh, then go down to save image. And I'm just going to call this render underscore 360 and I'm just going to save it as a JPEG. That should be fine. And then I'm going to set my color to save color managed image and click on save. So for this tutorial, I'm only going to render one frame, uh, but you can obviously go ahead and render a full animation. You should be able to follow the tutorial exactly the same. It's the same process. But yeah, for this tutorial, just one frame. So let's close this. And uh, now I'm going to go into After Effects. Right, so here we are in After Effects and I'm using After Effects 2017. I think this effect is only available in 2017. I might be wrong, but for this tutorial, I'm just focusing on 2017. So I'm going to drag my render into the project area and then I'm going to drag that into a new composition. And there you've got your image. So this composition, I'm just going to make it 10 seconds. And uh, this is obviously how long the video is going to be. So just set it to 10 seconds. 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on this layer, go to effect, and then I'm going to go down to perspective and then select CC environment. Okay, then I'm going to create a camera. So right click new and camera, and I'm going to change the preset, make sure it's on 15, click on OK. And uh, now if you click on your orbit camera tool here at the top, you can actually just click and drag to look around your 3D scene, which is pretty cool. All right, uh, another thing that I find works really cool is if you go to your CC environment effect and you just increase the lens distortion to around 60, you'll get like a nice fish eye effect, as you can see here. So if I just look around here, you can see you get that nice distortion. So if you want to animate your camera, you can just expand your camera, go to transform and uh, put a keyframe on position, move forward and then just drag your camera around and then just move forward, put a new keyframe, just move it around again. And let's put one right at the end. All right, let's do a quick RAM preview. So as you can see, this works really well to just create some really simple camera moves when you rendering in uh, 360. So next I'm gonna show you guys if you wanna upload your video to YouTube and you don't wanna add any camera moves yourself, but you want the viewer to be able to use uh, some VR hardware like uh, Oculus or maybe even Google Cardboard to be able to look around. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to convert that render, that still image, into a MP4 file. Okay, it needs to be MP4 to work for that. So I'm going to close After Effects and then we're going to jump into Premiere. Right, so here we are in Premiere. You can use any version of Premiere. We basically just need to convert it into a MP4 file. So I'm going to drag my JPEG render into uh, the project area and I'm just going to drag that onto the sequence area to create a new timeline. And um, I'm going to set this to around 10 seconds so you can just extend your render or your JPEG. Obviously, if you have like an image sequence or an animation, you will just use that duration. So now I'm just going to set my in point and my out point. And uh, then I'm going to go to file, export, media. And we want to export this obviously as an MP4 file. So I'm going to set the format to H.264. Leave the preset as match source high bitrate. And I'm just going to set an output name. So I'm just going to call it render360.mp4. Click on save. And then we're going to click on export to render that. Right, so that's rendered. And I'm going to go back to my finder. So next there's a little tool that you need to download. It's called the Spatial Media Metadata Injector app. And uh, you get it for Mac or for Windows. I'll put a link down in the description where you can find it. And uh, basically just open that and um, then we're going to convert or we're going to inject that 360 metadata into that mp4 file so with this app open i'm going to click on the open button here at the bottom and i'm going to browse to my mp4 that i rendered from premiere click on open and then all you need to do is you need to make sure that this my video is spherical that that one is ticked and then click on inject metadata so it's going to ask you where you want to save your new mp4 file i'm going to save it in the same folder and you'll see that it's adding underscore injected at the back so just click on save and it's going to work for a couple of seconds and it's going to tell you successfully saved all right so we've got a new file it's called render underscore 360 underscore injected and uh, if you play this you'll see there's not going to be any movement or anything it's just that still frame obviously but if you upload this now to youtube your viewer will be able to either drag around in the browser to view it or use something like Google Cardboard or even Oculus to view it in a 360 environment. So that's how easy it is to create 360 renders from Maya and you can use After Effects to just create like a camera movement or you can inject the metadata to upload it to YouTube so that your viewer can look around. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And remember, I upload new visual effects and filmmaking tutorials every week. So if you're into that, click on that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers, bye.